Well, good morning, fellas. We're set up for a goose hunt. We got uh, two ice rippers out in this pond and they opened up quite a bit of water. So we've got a bunch of floaters out there. We got some sleeper shells, some full bodies. It's looking dandy. Our hide, we got three A-frames over there. They're looking good. We're gonna cook some breakfast today. We're gonna wait for these geese to fly. It's a colder one. It snowed a lot yesterday. So my guess is the geese are gonna fly a little bit later, but we'll be here for when they wanna show up. But check out how good these FA sleeper shells look. They just, I thought they looked good on the grass, but on the snow, they just look phenomenal. Same with the HD honkers, they look, they look pretty good too. But we're gonna just sit here and wait for these geese to fly, and hopefully we can shoot a few. I'm hurting for a good hunt, so I hope this one goes pretty well. So just out of curiosity, I wanted to use Onyx to draw a line distance to see how far it is from my seat in the blind to the edge of the decoys. So I dropped a pin, if it'll focus, if you guys can see, maybe, probably not, okay. Well, it's 20.7 yards from my seat to the edge of the decoys. So if these geese are feet down coming right in, should be pretty fun. I love getting them within 20 yards and them doing that. So fun fact, fun way to uh, use the app that I, I've never thought to do that before. I saw it on their ads on Instagram and Facebook and whatever, but got the old Tetra Alpha Shields going in. We're ready to rock, Doc. Yo, Chef Levi cooking us up some breakfast. Yeah. This is a treat. We never do this. No, generally we're scrambling. Ha <laughs> ha, eggs. Uh, uh, generally we're. Uh, in such a rush a lot of times you know don't leave ourselves enough time plus we have so much stuff that uh which is kind of a pain in the butt but today i think we're gonna have enough time to hunt before these uh these come in so why not i mean the only thing we need now is just a little bit of wind but we got snow we got open water uh we got geese um yeah should be uh It'll be good. Good breakfast anyways. Even if we do, don't shoot any geese, we'll have a, a nice tasty breakfast. Heads down. Yeah, we got a sailor. Coda here, Coda. Well, that was the first group and it's like 10 o'clock. We've been here for a while, not seeing much of anything. We were working them down pretty good. I think we could have probably given them another pass, but we ended up getting two out of that group. So hopefully we see some more flying and get them to come down. It's just, there's no wind today, like at all. So it's really not helping us out much. Um, I think it's just gonna take them a lot longer to get down without having much wind. But we'll find out. We'll stay tuned and hopefully get into another group. Another group came in, still not low. They're still not getting down like I'd like them to, but. Maybe this next group will do it. What? They're coming. I don't know. Yeah. I know the wind is Yeah, I agree. The wind is really not helping us out. But 
I don't know. I wouldn't be afraid to let them pass again. Like if they do what that group did, let them go one more time. It's worth a shot to try it. Maybe these five might play. I don't know. So we we've been running the generator with the ice rippers going, and uh, I don't know if that's hurting us or helping us. Beats me. But we got them turned off right now. So we'll see what the next group does. See if they want to play a little better without the ice rippers going. <coughs> Do we kill these? The roost just got up and they're going to feed and it's a perfect flight line for this spot. So um, we'll let them do their thing and we'll be here for when they come back. There's probably, what do we see, probably seven, eight, nine groups get up and yeah. go. So pretty sweet. We did get two to break down, which that's always a plus. So we'll keep at it. It's shaping up. This side of the V. North side of the V is 31. The roost pond really got up. There was a lot. We're saying probably over a thousand geese on that thing, and they're all going to a field and they're flying right over us. So if they fly that same line coming back. Easily, it, easily a thousand on that. Thing. If they fly that same line coming back, it could get western if they want to come play. They could just get off the field and go straight back to the roost. I don't know, but we'll be here for them. All you experts out there, let us know what we're doing wrong, because I'm sure you're going to tell us in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Next time we'll invite you. <laughs> Can I take this one? <laughs> Coda. Come here, Max. All right. Come here, Max. Trying to make sure my gun didn't go off. Back. He's going down over there. I don't like that. As this group swings by, if they come on the left here. Where's the speck? There's the speck. hit my head there the best opportunity we had came and went uh, the wind switched at the wrong time and they landed on the other side of the pond everything came at once just kind of everything you didn't want to have happen so it is what it is it's hunting 
it's just another all right hunt. We shot some birds. We got eight hey, eight honkers done. I don't know what to say. It's another mediocre ass hunt. Hey, or geese. No, they're not coming here. Yeah, we're just not on the X. We tried to open up this pond with the ice rippers and you know, it worked a little bit. We got some birds to come in and uh you know, it's just another day no on the grind. I think the no wind situation and having the wrong wind at the wrong time, like all morning we had like no wind. The second these groups came off the feed, it switched to right in our face at like seven miles an hour. So just enough to convince them to go to the other side of the pond. So that kind of sucks, but here's the birds. Still killing them, just not excellently. I honestly think if we had more wind early on, we would have shot a lot more birds. They just, they were weary. They were, they just weren't wanting to work in here. So it was kind of a pain. But all in all, it's a good day to be out. We enjoyed some breakfast. And I mean, it wasn't an unpleasant hunt at all. It's, it's time check here for you real quick. 2.59 PM. So we stuck this one out for a really long time. We're never in the field this long. Yeah. But the birds were flying. The birds didn't even fly until like 10.30. So that is what it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next one.